హలో వ్యూయర్స్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ చంద్రశేఖర్ ఆర్థోపెడిక్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఇన్ కేర్ హాస్పిటల్ బంజారా హిల్స్ హైదరాబాద్ టుడే వీ షెల్ గెట్ టు నో అబౌట్ ఆస్టోపోరోసిస్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద వేరియస్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఆప్షన్స్ సో ఆస్టోపోరోసిస్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ రెడ్యూస్డ్ క్యాల్షియం అండ్ ఫాస్ఫరస్ లీడింగ్ టు వీక్ బోన్స్ so the biggest risk of osteoporosis is fragility fractures or insufficiency fractures wherein the patient may have uh, fractures with even trivial trauma because of the weakness in the bone broadly the uh, osteoporosis can be categorized as primary osteoporosis or secondary osteoporosis primary osteoporosis is something which happens with age and it is most commonly uh, seen with uh, uh, with female sex because of the hormonal changes which happen following the menopause the secondary osteoporosis is something which happens secondary to other treatments like patients uh, on steroid therapy and following uh, any uh, you know treatment for cancers etc and also patients who have other habits like smoking alcohol and if they have any associated conditions like diabetes mellitus and hypothyroidism which all can lead to secondary osteoporosis whatever the uh, variety of osteoporosis it is important to first to recognize what is the severity of osteoporosis and the commonest test which is done for identifying osteoporosis is a, a bone mineral density assessment by dexa scan dexa stands for dual energy x ray absorptiometry and it is commonly done in the lower lumbar spine and in the pelvic region and occasionally in around the wrist as well and with the dexa scan we will get to know what is the t score and depending on the t score we will know whether it is a mild osteoporosis or a severe osteoporosis and with regards to the treatment options the first and foremost treatment is putting the patient on calcium supplements and before that the patient has to undergo certain lifestyle changes they have to improve their nutrition do regular exercises and refrain from uh, habits like smoking alcohol etc and keep the other medical conditions like diabetes mellitus and hypothyroidism under control and after starting the patient on calcium supplements the uh, patient uh, also should have a few other medical therapy which includes supplements like bisphosphonates and there are certain newer medications which have come in the market like hormonal preparations one of the commonest one is the denisumab which is given on a six monthly basis and the other uh, preparations are the parathormone supplements like teriparatide depending upon the severity of the osteoporosis the clinician may recommend any of these medications for improving the bone quality in summary the treatment of osteoporosis is mainly change in the lifestyle and the other one is the pharmacotherapy which we have gone through in brief thank you